In this video, we're going to view or compare the stereo microphone on a high-end Google Pixel Pro 6 phone. And we're going to compare and review it against a Ceramonic. This is engineered in China. It runs about 40 bucks. And this is the Zoom. It's engineered in Japan. It's the AM7. And it runs about 100 bucks. Some of the features the AM7 comes with is a veritable game. You can turn it up or down, how high it records. It has a switch here where you can switch to different stereo polar patterns. The 120 definitely sounds the best, so I'll just leave it on that. This also comes with an awesome foam windscreen. It fits snugly in there. You can see no wind can get up under there. We're gonna test that out. That's one of the most important things on a mic if you're gonna be recording outside. The Ceremonic, if I'm saying that name right, is pretty basic. This is what it comes with. It does come in a nice box and has a nice case with it. Let's measure these and see how much they weigh. That might be important if you're putting this on your phone and then putting the phone on a gimbal. Now, there was another one that I had ordered, but it was so big and so heavy, it was made out of metal, that I had to send it back. But let's check these out, the weight. So that's 0.56 of an ounce. We're going to measure this one with the windscreen. It's pretty light. 1.26 over twice the weight. One of the reasons that you might want to get an external stereo mic because of the quality of your phone's mic is not good or your phone may only record in mono which is fine for voice or indoor talking but if you wanted to go outside and get the ambient sounds for instance if you're in the city or if you're in the country and you want to hear all the different sounds as close as possible to reality then you'd want to use a nice stereo mic. Now, the Google Pixel 6 Pro that we're recording on now, it comes with excellent stereo mics. But one of the problems is the form factor. If you're recording outside, you're going to run into issues with wind. And you've probably heard that noise, which can destroy your video. It's the wind goes across the mic and makes this rumbling sound. Now, on most phones, they'll, have a, they'll use a mic at the bottom and they'll use a mic at the top. Usually the top mic, if you can see that, it's a little hole. And that's where you'll get the worst rumble. It's really hard to cover that up. Now, if you record mono and not stereo, just from the bottom mic, you can take a hair roller or something similar like this and put it on there, and it works really good. But if you're wanting to record in the stereo, which sounds better outside, then you'll have to put something over this little hole and unfortunately, wind always gets underneath there somehow. It's something with the design of how this hole works and recording with the mic. This one just is easier to cover up. Um, you can make something like this and put on there, but I've, I've even done stuff like this. And you would think no air would get in there, but it sure does, and it sounds horrible. So that's one of the reasons that you'd want to get an external mic is because you can get a good windscreen on there. So you can see on the, how perfect this windscreen is. Just plug it into your phone and you're ready to go. Now with this one, we'll have to either purchase some windscreen or make one that goes over this. And you can see the Ceremonic's a lot smaller. They have some furry windscreens that, that could probably go over this, but it is pretty large. So we might have to get a smaller windscreen to try to fit over this. They sell these smaller windscreens, these furry windscreens, for lapel mics. And it looks like it goes on there pretty good, so maybe two of these might work pretty good on this. Okay, we were originally using the mic on the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Now we're using the Ceramonic, the smaller mic. This is indoors, just so you can see how it sounds. I'm, a couple, I'm about a foot away from the mic, really close to the mic. Now I'm going to step away a few feet. I'm about three feet from the mic. I'm about five feet from the mic. Now I'm about six feet from the mic. All right, we're going to take this off and we're going to do the zoom mic. And once we're done with that, we're going to go outside and do our testing. Okay, now we're testing the zoom mic. The AM7, I'm about a foot away from it. Now I'm going to get about three feet away from it. Okay, now I'm three feet away from the microphone. Now we're going to move back to about five or six feet. Now we're about five or six feet. I'm talking in a regular tone. Well, the proof's in the pudding. Let's go ahead and test these mics and see how they sound in real world. Okay, we have the Google Pixel 6 Pro phone on a gimbal. 
we had the pink hair rollers on the on both sides of the mic so we have it on the bottom and the top mic it's in stereo we're gonna go out and do a test with this and then we'll we'll do the zoom am7 next Uh, I was hoping there's going to be more wind so we could do a wind test. It's not that windy today, but there's a lot of ambient noises. Okay, so this was with running, so if we can get some wind noise. Okay, that was our first test. That was with the Google Pixel 6 Pro phone. And now we're going to put on the Zoom AMX7 and test it out. Okay, we have the Zoom AMX7 on now. We're gonna go test it out. Now, one of the things with this AMX7 is they say that you have to put your phone on airplane mode and then turn off your Bluetooth. If there's any type of interference coming from your phone, the microphone fix it up. So we got both of those turned off and we're going to go test it out. We've got a little breeze kicking up, so hopefully that'll be a good test for this nice phone windscreen on the AMX7.
run with this. Now, one thing I'm noticing with this on the gimbal, you can't see it, but the zoom is kind of long, it sticks out to the side. So it kind of puts some weight on the phone. So as you're running, it's wanting to kind of go back and forth. It's like a seesaw. Okay, that was the AMX Zoom. Let's take a look at the last one, the Ceremonic. See how it sounds. All right, now we have the Ceremonic mic on. We also have the furry windshield on it. If you record on a phone, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what's the best microphone to use. Do you use mono? Do you use stereo? Got a lot of wind coming up here. I wonder if you can hear it. Yeah, do you use mono? Do you use stereo? Do you use the onboard microphone of your phone? Or do you have an external microphone? Okay, that was the Ceremonic, 
And we're going to do actually one last test. This test we're going to do mono on the phone. So we'll just record it with one microphone. And we're going to use the phone's mono microphone. Okay, now we're using a program called Open Camera. It allows you to record in just mono or stereo. So we got it set to mono and we have it set to the bottom microphone. And then for windscreen, we have the pink hair roller. Well, the wind's kicking up pretty good now. So we'll see, let's see how this sounds. This is mono, so just one microphone. And this is on the phone itself. Yeah, just beyond those trees is Highway 75, so that's probably all the traffic that you can hear in the background. The roaring of the car tires and engines. Here comes a car. Let's listen to how it sounds when it comes by. Okay, that was the last test. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What microphone did you like the best? The Google Pixel Pro onboard stereo? The Google Pixel Pro onboard mono? Or did you like the Ceramonic? Or did you like the Zoom AM7 better?